hi guys so okay i have to apologize i suck at vlogging <sighs> i'm so upset with myself because like i keep saying oh cool i'm gonna go do this fun thing i'm gonna vlog it and then i don't vlog it and I'm so sorry, I suck, I know. Today is a fun day. Well, this whole, like, we've got like a little weekend getaway right now. Well, Scott and I, our anniversary is coming up, our one year is coming up soon. So we saw this hotel that I love. It's literally my favorite hotel. It's called the Park Hyatt in Melbourne. I stay here a lot with family, but we saw that they were having like this deal and it's quite an expensive hotel. So we definitely took the chance to stay two nights here. And it's amazing. Scott is loving it. Not that he would admit it, but I can tell he's really having a fun time. And I just haven't vlogged. This is our second day here and I haven't vlogged the first day. Yeah, it was a lot of rushing around. So it is, what time is it? 9.30. It's 9.30. We're about to go shopping in Melbourne. Should be good. I really want to go to Victoria's Secret. And Scott wants to go to Culture King. So that should be good. And then we'll probably come back to the hotel, go for a swim. I'm going to show the hotel room when we come back because the maid will have come and cleaned it and it's really messy. But I'll show you the view. The view is amazing. I'm so, like, this is the best part. Isn't this amazing? I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. I'm we're going shopping now. I'm not gonna put my camera because I don't want it to lose it or anything. I will definitely show you what we get when we come back. So that will be exciting. Alright guys, I'll be back soon. Bye. I don't know, what do you feel like? It's a me. It's Scott. We are at Melbourne Zoo right now. Very exciting. I've been to the zoo in a few years. I went like two, three years ago with my bestie, Kelso. And it was really fun. Scott went maybe two, three years ago to Werribee Zoo. So we we're like, okay, well, let's go to Melbourne Zoo if you've just been to Werribee. Because I, I guess, I don't know. I feel like Melbourne Zoo is better, don't you? I think it's a lot bigger. You got more animals. Though I do like how Werribee is open range, which is really fun. It's like being on a safari. Anyway. Um, we're gonna go to the zoo. I'm so excited to be able to film everything and explore with the bay. Last time I was here when I was with my bestie, I like recorded everything on Snapchat and on my phone and I just wish that it was like good quality to put on a video and I just wish I had a camera. I remember thinking that when I was at the zoo last time, but I have a camera now and I'm really happy about that. Um, my baby got me one. Anyway, we're gonna go to the zoo. I'm gonna film as much as I can. It's just started raining and it's supposed to be summer. What's going on? It is Melbourne weather. And the great thing about Melbourne Zoo is that, I forgot the word, what's the word for it? It's a conservatory. Is that the word? Do you know what that means? I don't know if it's conservatory. Butterflies one. 
You want to see the butterflies? No, is that what you're talking about? No, no, no. The actual Melbourne Zoo is a conservatory, which I'm, if I'm saying it right, means that it's not just like a zoo where they just lock up animals and they're, you know, they, they are cruel to them and they've just locked them up. They actually um, take in animals who can't be in the wilderness anymore for different reasons and who maybe need it, like some, some medical help and like can't really survive in the wild. They take them in and they look after them. So it's not just like they're capturing animals for like, you know, entertainment reasons it's actually like there to help them which is really cool which i really like that because it makes me feel a lot better about going to the zoo all right bye <laughs>
Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Woo! Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for the three people who joined in. So, we're going out tonight to, uh, to an R&B club. Wait, get the ice. I'm going to make a bit of a drink for us. I still have to do my lipstick. Today's Valentine's Day. It's actually my first Valentine's Day I've ever celebrated. I'm doing a date night tonight with Scotty. Scott, where are you taking me for dinner? Surprise. He won't tell me where it is. Where are you taking me? Melbourne. We're going to Melbourne. And apparently it's a cuisine that him and I have never had before, like as in together. Have you ever had it yourself? Yeah, we both would have had it separately. Okay. Um, I have two ideas of what it will be. I will write them here right now on the screen. So, whatever these say, I guess we'll all find out if I'm right. He's just feeding Lenny. So, I made these for Scott for Valentine's Day because you all know... You all know I love to bake. So, these are what I made. They're definitely not perfect, but I think they're really cute. I had, like, a hell of a time with the frosting. But that's okay. I think they're really cute. The other ones are just kind of busted. But oh well. I think they are cute. Scott got me some Valentine's gifts. He got me this card which is really cute. I'm not going to read it because it's personal. But Scott's definitely a man of like few words. As you guys have all seen if you've ever been watching any of my vlogs. So I assumed his card would be just as little amount of words. Um, and it is. It's not a lot of writing. But what he did say was very, very sweet. And it made me tear up a bit. He got me this really cool sparkly gold soap from Lush. Which oh, I'll show you later. He got me a like really pretty box of chocolates. It's like this velvet box. It's so cute. And I'm definitely going to reuse this box when I'm done. As you can see, I've already opened it. <laughs> and he got me these, like, chocolate roses. And then he got me this little bear, which is really soft. I love, like, stuffed animals, even though I'm too old, but I still love them. Named him Copernicus. What do you think of them? They look delicious. They look delicious. Thanks for the brownies. Uh. 
Okay, Valentine's Day will be vlogged and you will all find out where he's taking me. I have no idea where he's booked. Well, we'll see. Are we going to get cocktails? Do they have cocktails at this place? I think so. I'm excited for cocktails. So this is like a Greek cheese fondue. What do you think of this one so far? It's pretty good. We just, oh, I'm a bit oily. We just got in the car. How was dinner? Delicious. He's just so cute. I just want to have his babies already. 